Hello, welcome back. And aren't the Duke and Duchess of Sussex a busy royal bunch? We have some stories to get into, but before we do, let me start off by wishing my American audience, as Thanksgiving holiday approaches, a happy Thanksgiving. I hope you all have a fantastic time with friends and family. And I want to say here to all of you who watch that I'm so thankful to God for you. You're truly so special and dear in my heart. And I love you. And I hope once again, you have an amazing time. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. Megan once again has surprised the city of Vancouver by returning to Justice for Girls to hear personal struggles for justice from teens. So it was a return for the Duchess. Justice for Girls is a Canadian non-profit organization that aims to help teenage girls living in poverty. The Duchess of Sussex visited the charity's organization's Vancouver office on Tuesday. She also visited the same in 2020 and joined Jessica Lake and Laurie Thompson and a group of women for a discussion regarding the nonprofit's work. Justice for Girls was created to advocate for teenage girls' health and well-being who live in poverty, as well as to work to provide access to equality, freedom from violence, and colonialism. This is as per the organization's official site. So they also shared news of Megan's appearance in an Instagram post highlighting key moments from her visit, saying, quote, A feminist advocate from a young age herself, the Duchess was keen to chat with two of our teen interns to discuss their personal struggles for justice. So they did have a longer post. Let me just get through that because I want you to get everything that they said about the Duchess's visit. So their post on Instagram in full with the pictures is here and it reads, quote, Justice for Girls was delighted to have a return visit from Megan, the Duchess of Sussex, joined by Jessica Lake and Laurie Thompson from the Lake Family's All One Fund. We had an engaging and heartfelt conversation about justice and equality for teen girls living in poverty in Canada and around the world. Together with our teen interns, staff, directors, and board members, we talked about Justice for Girls' decades of work advocating for girls' access to education, freedom from violence, indigenous rights, and environmental justice. They also went on to say, quote, A highlight of our conversation was the focus on girls' and young women's leadership. A feminist advocate, from a young age herself, the Duchess was keen to chat with two of our teen interns to discuss their personal struggles for justice. Her genuine and understanding approach left the girls feeling heard, supported, and inspired." End quote. Justice for Girls shared also how participants of Megan's visit took part in conversations about the organization's decades of work advocating for girls' access to education, freedom from violence, indigenous rights, and environmental justice, and focused on the importance of girls' and young women's leadership. The organization, which was founded 24 years ago, has also created public education workshops, advocacy clinics, and other local outreach initiatives in an effort to end violence, poverty, and racism among young women. They also focus their efforts on criminal justice, monitoring advocacy and outreach for girls, education, and promoting girls' human rights. So in the article here, they also reflect on Megan's visit in 2020 and the group also gifted her with a gold and diamond whale pendant that had been donated by local jeweler Holly Bartlett, a member of the Heisla tribe. So that's a very interesting tidbit there as well. And they went on to say, quote, we all felt at ease and I think that was a testament to the Duchess. This was a statement by Justice for Girls co-director Zoe Craig Sparrow. She spoke to people after Megan's first visit, saying, quote, She said it was important for her to get to know the local context around the issues in the communities, end quote. So Justice 
Supergirls co-founder Annabelle Webb shared the organization's intent, adding, quote, When we set up the organization, we made sure that it was with young women themselves who were saying, quote, These are the things that we need support on, end quote. So you can see that that's where they want to focus their impact. It's so good that Megan is consistent, that even as she and Harry were up in Vancouver for the hockey game, where they also highlighted the Invictus Games that will be there in 2025, that she did circle back to this charity. And she has been involved in it because, of course, it's in line with what she personally is passionate about, that supporting women, girls, and this particular organization, they do their best to impact girls aged 12 to 18 who are living in poverty. And she has been involved with them since first visiting their downtown Vancouver headquarters in June 2020. And she has now visited three times. And I'm sure it is so welcoming for them to know that she isn't there as a one-off. She goes back, touches base with them, figures out what more she can do to highlight their causes and to engage with them and to support them putting her money where her mouth is and they also talked about how they were impressed by her knowledgeable grasp of the issues director of indigenous rights and environmental justice zoe craig sparrow said this quote it was lovely to see the Duchess again and welcome her back to Justice for Girls. End quote. She went on to say, quote, her warm demeanor and impressive understanding of the issues made for a very engaging discussion. She was genuinely interested and invested in knowing about our work, connecting with the teen girls and talking to them about the realities they are facing. End quote. So as I said, she met privately with two teen girls and I'm sure they will never forget that moment with her. And I love the images that we have here. Everyone all smiles. And as Zoe Craig Sparrow said that uh, she was quite warm. Everyone was put at ease, it seems, at Megan's presence. In that image where they're all seated down, you can tell she gives off that sense that she is just, quote, one of the girls, right? Able to talk with them, listen, understand. And for her, it's been advocating for the rights of girls and women. That's a road that for Megan is so well-traveled, and I'm sure that they appreciate her in their midst. So um, wonderful to see that Harry and Megan are truly on purpose as they are up in Canada. Prince Harry as well, who is founder and patron of Invictus Games Foundation, the international multi-sporting event for wounded, injured, and sick servicemen and women, will also enjoy their games hosted in Vancouver and Whistler in 2025. So it is really a homecoming for the Sussexes. They were very well received as they went to Rogers Arena, which will be the host venue for the closing ceremony of the Games in 2025. And the Games were promoted on Monday night at Rogers Arena as Prince Harry dropped the ceremonial puck for the hockey game as his grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II, did back in October the 6th, 2002. So share your thoughts here on seeing Meghan and Prince Harry passionately living out their purpose back in Vancouver and just the warmth that we've seen, the hugs, the love, the good rapport that they've had with all the individuals that they've interacted with. It is heartwarming. And as a quick aside, allow me to say that I love the color of what Meghan is wearing. We've seen her gravitate towards that palette for her on more than one occasion and I think it brings out the glow in her complexion. I also love the simplicity of her hairdo. Hair flat down with a middle part. Some of you speculated that her pants could be Ralph Lauren. Uh, her silk wide leg pants that she wore to Wimbledon not confirmed as yet. And you know it's fascinating to see how well received they are in Canada. As we all know this is really Megan's second home to say because she did spend quite a couple of years there and she's had this whole background of being a philanthropist and championing women's rights so she is just right at home in more ways than one 
So it's been fantastic to see the commentary online on Harry and Meghan. And you've got to hand it to the couple. They are tenacious and very, very hardworking. Um, you know, the way they've had the schedule they've been on, it's like the Energizer Bunny. <laughs> Just when one thinks, okay, I think we've seen them, they pop up again. And I think that's fantastic. They are so hardworking. And it was interesting as well, as I was putting together this for you, I came across, um, you will not believe this, or maybe you will. It's from The Mirror. I know, I know, I know. They sometimes do not have the most favorable articles on the Sussexes, but this is very interesting. And I want to add it on here as an add-on to this video. It was an article by them that was titled, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, more influential than fellow royals, say experts, end quote. So that's their title and their lead was Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been ranked as quote more influential than their fellow royals Prince William and Kate after being placed second following the late Queen Elizabeth II. And this is according to recent data and it said that the late Queen was crowned as the most talked about royal with more Google searches, TikTok views, Instagram hashtags, and articles written combined more than any other royal. And then they said, surprisingly, the Queen was followed by Prince Harry, who ranked as second most influential, followed closely by Meghan in third. The couple overtook King Charles, William, Kate, and also Princess Diana, who ranked joint sixth most influential royal with her son, Prince William. So this data came out after the Sussexes were seen at the hockey game where Prince Harry stepped out to drop the ceremonial puck and they were having a good time dancing and just having fun doing good. And when I was thinking about this article, uh, as of course we know the couple are promoting the next Invictus Games and Meghan right here with Justice for Girls, it showed a facet to their platform that they have that they check off so many things on that checklist that you'd want if you were a power couple. They have impeccable style between the both of them and they of course are quite good to look at. They are fantastic together. Interactions between each other show a happy married couple, no strain in their marriage. They mirror each other, they're holding hands, still quite tactile, and you know, those loving gazes and all that. So it makes for just this whole fairy tale that just keeps on, right? And then the charity or philanthropic aspect to this couple, which is a very strong suit that they have. A uh, Harry who's always been that way as a working royal and and even in stepping back, he is doing great with Invictus Games, with Well Child, with, uh, with Santa Bale, Megan here with women, also with what she's doing now with Harry and veterans, with women as well, you know, that's been her trademark. For those of you who might be doubting the search, because I was like, we're not going to take Mira's word for it. We're going to do our own research. We're not here to be spoon fed. So I went on Google Trends and I checked for Prince Harry, Megan, Prince William and Kate in the search engine. And ta-da! Here are the results straight from Google searches itself. Um, I didn't want to add in uh, Charles and Camilla uh, just to keep the chart from being so data heavy. Um, let's just focus on the young royals here. And yes, Harry is a born royal by blood. He might as well have Prince as his first name and then Harry. You know, everyone just calls him Prince Harry anyway. And Meghan is a duchess. You know, some in the comment section for those of you who keep saying Meghan is not a duchess anymore, allow me here just to go off on this rabbit trail. For those of you who keep saying that in the comments, she is a duchess. She and Harry are the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. That was a title that was given to them and that was gifted to them by the Queen. And Prince Harry is born royal. One cannot say they're not royals anymore. They still have their HRH too. I would encourage you to do your Google search. So. Back on the main point, uh, so I did this search here in Google Trends and you can see here for yourself. If you doubt it, go on Google Trends and type in William, Kate, Megan, Harry. It's right here for you and these were the charts as of today before I uploaded this to you. So you can see checked trends in the United States, United Kingdom and worldwide just to cast a wide enough net because of course Megan hails from the US and the rest from the UK. 
And you can see here by the data collected by this chart that Prince Harry is in the United Kingdom the most searched royal. He is the one in the blue. You can see it right there topping all of them. Meghan there in the red. William is there in the yellow and Catherine is in the green. So this is the data for the past seven days in the United Kingdom and in the United States for the past seven days as well. Here's the result. Interestingly, Meghan's home turf, she is the one who is searched for the most, but she is so tied with Harry. It's just up and down, up and down. But Meghan, you know, she has the most searches. Next is Prince Harry in the blue, yellow, William third, And then there is Kate. She is after William. So she's in the fourth place. I wanted to narrow this down. What if we just did it in the past 24 hours? Because we know the both have had huge events and we have here. And here we can see it's Catherine. Come on, you see here, I'm fair. She had this huge spike, right? You can see it right there. She's in green and she's at the top of the chart. She had a huge spike. Overall, it was just gradually at a point and then it kind of peaked at the specific moment. And then after her, you can see the next peak is Megan in red. And then the next peak after is, there is William in yellow. It's kind of masked by uh, Kate's green, but it shows that they had this peak around the same time. I'm guessing it's around the same event that they went to and Kate was more searched. And then there you can see Prince Harry. So you see, so you can't say I'm not fair there. I wanted to make it even more specific. Who was searched for in the past four hours the most in the UK? And lo and behold, it is Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex in red. She has that huge peak there. Then you can see after her is Prince Harry and closely tied right there below with Kate. And William is in fourth place. But when we go worldwide, let's just take it all out and do the past seven days and interest over time. The most searched royals was, drum rolls, it was Prince Harry. You can see him there. It's apparent he is obviously in the lead with the blue and then after him, Meghan. And then after that in yellow, William. And then below that is Kate. So those are their averages right there. And Kate has a spike that kind of meets her up with about William's average. This is worldwide. So let the data speak for itself. They are the most searched royals, the Sussexes, and they have just this huge interest in them. So I want to see what they will do with that moving forward. I'm praying that they will use their star power and, you know, all that they have and God will be just glorified. I prefer God to guide them, give them wisdom, and, and to smile on this couple. So I want to share all this with you. Share your thoughts with me on this in the comment section below. As always, before we log off, allow me to thank those who support this channel financially. Thank you to all my Patreon, PayPal, and membership supporters. And allow me here to thank a couple of you by name. A very special thank you to you. Valerie Sedeno, thank you for your giving. Thank you for your support. You are truly loved and valued here. I appreciate your comments and allow me to say that you are such a special blessing to me. Thank you. And thank you as well to you, Patricia Crenshaw. I appreciate how supportive you've been towards my work here. God bless you. Thank you for how generous and kind you have been over the years in your support for my work here. Thank you. And a very special thank you to those who gave through Super Thanks. Thank you to you, Rochelle Cherry, who is also one of the channel's supporters here. Thank you for going above and beyond in your giving towards my work and being so encouraging and your comments and your love. Thank you. I love you god bless you a special thank you to those who gave during the last live thank you to you black queen who is one of the channel moderators here thank you thank you for all the ways you engage on this channel and your kind support i say thank you i love you you are such a blessing thank you to helen cole as well i appreciate you for that super chat i appreciate that giving and your comments 
thank you for tuning in for the live i really do appreciate your kindness thank you as well to tbtb thank you so much for giving during the live and for being in the chat as well i appreciate you for giving and supporting my work here on youtube god bless you once again thank you to all who support this channel financially thank you to all who like comment and share as well it truly does help out the channel once again leave your thoughts on all these updates if you liked this one give this video a thumbs up click that like button and subscribe and turn on the notification bell set to all and also follow this channel on twitter for more informal posts hope to see you on there thank you all for watching have a great day and i will catch you in the next one have a blessed one